When the new MacBook Pro was released, there was a lot of humming and hawing from the creative professional community. One of the things was that it just didn't have enough power. People were just kind of disappointed in the new MacBook. Now, there is a bit of a conspiracy theory that this then fed into, which is that Apple is no longer going after the creative professionals that helped them get their start. They're aiming more for the middle, for the mainstream. And when you think about that, it kind of makes sense. I mean, their two most popular products, the iPod and the iPhone, were definitely not for a niche market. They were for everyone. So the new MacBook kind of, in some people's minds at least, kind of fed fuel to that fire. Now, whether that theory is right or wrong, I have no idea. Um, but what I do know is that for the first time ever, I saw my constituents, namely YouTubers and other video editors, asking publicly on social media a question that I never really thought I'd ever see them ask. What's the Windows equivalent to the new MacBook Pro? Now, I know that most of these people actually probably ended up with MacBooks anyway, but the fact that they asked that question publicly was a very interesting sign. To me. And it got me wondering, just to test it out, for the same money as the new MacBook Pro, could I get a Windows equivalent that I could use as a portable editing machine that actually would perform better at that particular job of editing? Before we get started, I am not doing a complete comparison of these laptops. That's a whole nother thing. I am simply doing a simple test on a simple task that I do every day and can replicate easily across these laptops for some type of baseline comparison. And that is to edit footage in Premiere and then export it and see how long that export time is. So now this is not obviously an end all be all test to say this laptop is better than this one. But I do think that there is something interesting to see about the power differences when it comes to video editing in this particular task. The devices I ended up testing were the latest Surface Book with performance base, the very top model that you can buy from Microsoft, the latest MacBook Pro with the touch bar, 15 inch, 2.9 gigahertz, 460 Radon Pro, like the very top model. Um, and then also just to throw into the mix, I threw in a gaming laptop. So I picked the Razer Blade 2016, which is a pretty powerful gaming laptop with an NVIDIA 1060 graphics card inside. I chose that one over a bunch of the other gaming laptops because there are a lot of gaming laptops uh, because it is the most subtle looking gaming laptop. It's one that I actually could see myself as a video editor using, not just for a gaming purpose. For more info on that though, you can actually check out my review of the Razer Blade, which I've linked below. And now here are the exact specs. We have the MacBook Pro with touch bar 15 inch, 2.9 gigahertz i7, 16 gigs of RAM, and the Radon Pro 460 with four gigs of memory GPU. The price for that is about $3,099. The Surface Book with performance base has a 2.6 gigahertz i7, RAM is 16 gigs, and it has an NVIDIA 965M with two gigs of memory. The price for that is about $2,800. Finally, the Razer Blade 2016 with 2.6 gigahertz i7, 16 gigs of RAM, an NVIDIA GTX 1060 with six gigs of memory installed. The price for that is $1,800 for the lowest model. And what I mean by lowest model for that, I mean like the lowest storage and the lowest resolution screen. They all contain that same uh, i7 and that same graphics card. So it doesn't really matter about the screen resolution and the storage space for this test. Now as for the footage, it is what I shoot on this camera. So it's a Blackmagic Ursa Mini 4.6K. So the footage is going out in ProRes 422. It is 4.6K resolution. I'm putting it into Premiere. I'm doing a little bit of color correcting on it, just simple stuff. And then I'm exporting using the 4K preset in YouTube and the 1080p preset for YouTube. Okay, now as for the results, when I exported out at 4K on the MacBook Pro 15 inch, we got about 27 minutes it took to render that out. In 1080, it took about 12. The Surface Book, same footage, same everything, 4K was 22 minutes and 30 seconds, 1080p 
was 10 minutes. And finally, the Razer did it in 11.30 for the 4K and five minutes for the 1080p. Yeah, I was surprised too. Um, well, sort of. So Premiere is a very GPU intensive program. And so to some extent, this is kind of just a competition between the graphics cards. Uh, and if you look on paper, the Razer Blade has that GTX 1060 in it. That's clearly the most powerful card. Uh, the Surface Book has the next most powerful card. The MacBook has the least powerful card. Uh, so that's not really that unexpected. But what did kind of surprise me a little bit was that the Surface Book actually eked out the MacBook, which I mean, technically again, like the GPUs should do that, but I didn't quite expect that from the Microsoft laptop over the Apple one. And there you go, a video for anyone interested in such things. Uh, again, this is not to say that one laptop is better than the other. There are a lot of other factors that you should probably consider before buying a laptop than just Premiere rendering time. Uh, but I just thought it might be interesting to some people out there. I was kind of curious to see what would happen and hoping some other people are too. Uh, now though, if you use Final Cut instead of Premiere, this whole thing goes out the window. Yeah, gonna do a video on that next. So if you wanna check that out, please subscribe and stay tuned for that. Otherwise though, if you like this video, please thumbs up it or share it, it is greatly appreciated. And if you want more videos like this, check out my channel. The link's are around here somewhere. If you like what you see there, please subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.